Day two. Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Today is all about the 3D cursor. This challenge came about because when I first started using Blender, I could not find this 3D cursor. Where was it hiding? By default, the 3D cursor is turned off. So I need to go to the viewport overlays dropdown. I'm gonna select X and Y out of habit and then select that missing 3D cursor. Right now, the 3D cursor is at the world origin point, which would be 000. We are in draw mode and I wanna change the pencil to my favorite, the ink pen. I'm gonna go down to the data tab, like what we went over in day one, and just look at, okay. I'm gonna draw a triangle now that I'm back in camera view. Now I am going to get out of camera view. I mean, it's fine that my 3D cursor right now is at the world origin point, but I wanna move it. There are different ways to move it. One way is to select the 3D cursor at the top left, right above the pen tool, right there. And I'm just gonna click it anywhere. Let's see. I'm gonna place it a little bit behind my first triangle. I selected the camera icon to go back to camera view and I'm gonna draw another triangle, this time in red. My triangle should be behind the black one, right? Oh, why is it not? Even though I placed the 3D cursor behind the black triangle. The reasoning is actually at the top. Do you see where it says origin and front? With the origin selected at the stroke placement, that means that strokes are placed at grease pencil object origin. I want that to actually be 3D cursor. I am going to erase that red triangle and I'm going to try again. Great! That is what I wanted. The second way to move your 3D cursor is shift right click. And I drew the gray square off camera. I added another color combination to the materials tab off camera. The third way to move around the 3D cursor is by pressing in and this pop-up will appear and I am going to go down, ignore that, the grease pencil, those are add-ons, we'll do that later. Um, go to the view tab and then scroll down and under 3D cursor you can play around with the location and the rotation. Let's pretend I, and you can put it, um, change everything to zero so it goes right back to the world origin point if you wanted to do that. I did fast forward this part so you can still see me playing around with the settings and then drawing the final triangle. I just wanted to say these are three different methods of moving the 3D cursor but again there are more ways to do it. What's cool is it looks like they're the same size and they're right next to each other, these triangles, but in reality, the triangle, my yellow triangle in the back is ginormous and it is actually placed way behind the original black triangle. And that actually leads us to challenge number two. 
draw four triangles in four different colors and make them look like they are right next to each other. But in reality, they are at four different points in the scene and you can decide with a 3D cursor where you wanna place it. Now that you know your task, you can pause the video right now to complete your challenge. This is what I created. Let me get out of camera mode to show you how they are placed at four different spots. Hopefully in this video you learned how to turn on the 3D cursor and the three different methods to move it to a point where you want. This is Joyce Ann Anthony, aka JJ. See you in challenge number three.